What's up world? Welcome back to the channel. So the Bonanza Improvement Project just got its latest update to version 6.7. Want to know what's in it? How to use the InSim hangar application? Or how about how to download and install it? Stick around, we got that coming up next on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Hey everyone, welcome back to the cockpit of the beautiful Bonanza G36. So first I thought we would go through the InSim hangar application and talk about what's included in that. And then we'll go through the download and installation process. If the video does help you out today, be sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. Smash on that thumbs up button as well. So one of the first things that we're going to notice, if we go up here to the toolbar, you're going to have a new application over here. That's the Bonanza Hanger app. So if we give that a left click, and that's going to give us a whole plethora of different information about this aircraft. So if we scroll down on here, we can see they have now included the total hours flown, total miles flown. So below that, we've got some information here about the G36 project. I recommend to read through this. It's got a lot of good information, as well as some links to the forum and the Discord site if you've got any issues. So if we scroll down below that, we've got a little roadmap here as to the progress of the application and where we want to go for the future. At the top here, it gives us the progress of the individual items that they want to improve on this project. And then below that, we have the roadmap of things that they're going to be working on in the future. So if we take a look over here on the right, this is going to start all of our different checklists. Now, if you would like to jump to a specific checklist, all you need to do is just click on that and it will bring you up to that checklist. Now, this one is going to give us all the limitations for the aircraft. But of course, if you want to know the starting process, all you got to do is come down here and click on the start and that will bring up the before start and the start checklist for the aircraft. Again, if you just scroll down a little bit, it will bring up all the other checklists. So then you can just click on the one that you would like to go okay. to. All right, so now let's take a look at the download and installation process. Now, all the links will be down below for this, so make sure you go down below and check those out. So when you click on the link below, it'll bring you up on the GitHub page for the G36 improvement mod. Now, there's a lot of really good information on this page, so I highly recommend you take a look at it. But to download, all you need to do is to come over here to the code and give that a left click and then just go to the download zip. You left click on the download zip and then it should populate down here in your web browser. All right, so once that finishes up, all we need to do is to give that a left click and it should open up your unzipping program. At this point, just go ahead and double click on the folder and it will open up its contents. There's some good information here in the readme file, so be sure to check that out as well. So the next and final thing that we need to do here is just to take this Bonanza G36 improvement project folder left click and hold and drag it and drop it right into your community folder. That's it for today's video. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any questions, please leave those down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe and tick that little bell so you don't miss any future episodes. Well, to all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up and we will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching everybody.